In this video, I want to talk about external hard drives and how much having your Final Cut Pro library on an external drive affects the speed of your editing. Hey guys, this is Serge and welcome back to my channel. As many of you know, Final Cut Pro libraries can take up a lot of disk space, especially if you're editing 4K video, so naturally it makes sense to have them on an external drive. But does having these libraries on external drives affect the speed of Final Cut Pro? And if it does, by how much? What I did is I compared the speed of my internal solid state drive on my 2015 MacBook Pro to two of the most popular external drives out there, the Lacey Ragged Thunderbolt drive and the Samsung T5 solid state drive. First, let's take a look at the cost. If you upgrade your storage directly from Apple, you're paying about 800 US dollars for one terabyte of storage. That's about 80 cents per gigabyte. The Samsung T5 solid state drive retails for about 250 US dollars for a one terabyte drive. And if you get it on sale, you can get it for about 200 bucks. That's about 20 cents per gigabyte. The Lacey Rugged Thunderbolt drive, which in my case is a mechanical drive, sells for about 130 US dollars for a one terabyte drive. That's about 13 cents per gigabyte. So is Apple's internal storage worth four times more than an external SSD and over six times more than a mechanical drive? Let's find out. First, let's start by simply copying media off an SD card onto the drive. We'll start with the cheapest option, the Lacey Rugged. On my SD card, I have 10 short 4K clips, which add up to about 8 gigabytes. I'll select them and drag them over to my external drive. One minute and 36 seconds to copy about 8 gigabytes to a mechanical drive. Now let's copy the same 10 video clips to an external solid state drive. Once again, I'll select the 10 files and drag and drop them into my external drive window. 1 minute and 26 seconds. That's about 12% faster. Now let's do the same test copying the media to my internal solid state drive. That's about a half a second faster than the external solid state drive. Not really a noticeable difference. For the next test, we'll import the same 10 video clips off the SD card into Final Cut Pro, and you might be surprised by the results. Once again, we'll start with our cheapest drive. I'll hit the import button, make sure the copy to library is selected, and click import all. 1 minute and 50 seconds. Next, let's import these same clips onto the Samsung T5 library. Once again, I'll make sure copy to library is selected, and click import all. Surprisingly, this took 2 minutes and 5 seconds, 12% slower than the Lacey drive. I repeated this test a few times just to make sure and got the same results every time. And last, let's try importing onto the internal drive. One minute and 48 seconds, slightly faster than the Lacey drive and about 12% faster than the Samsung T5. So for importing media, as expected, the internal drive was the fastest. The surprise here was the mechanical Lacey disk drive was about 12% faster than the Samsung solid state drive. The next test will be transcoding a 5 minute video clip into Apple ProRes 422 to create optimized media. First, the Lacey drive. With the clip selected, from the menu bar I'll select File, Transcode Media, make sure only the Create Optimized Media is selected, and click OK. Seven minutes and 45 seconds to transcode a 5 minute 4K clip. With a library on the Samsung T5 drive, Final Cut Pro transcoded the same clip slightly faster, coming in at 7 minutes and 24 seconds. The internal drive was even faster, transcoding a 5 minute clip in just 7 minutes and 11 seconds. Another time consuming part of video editing is rendering files. To test the render speed, down in the timeline I have a roughly 5 minute project. All video clips are in 4K, with some having LUTs or color corrections applied. 
I also have a few titles and sound effects applied just to give these drives a run for their money. From the menu bar, I'll select Modify and Render All. On the Lacey drive, this 5 minute project takes about 4 minutes and 58 seconds. The same project, rendered on the Samsung T5 solid state drive, renders in about 4 minutes and 56 seconds. And last, with the project and the library on my internal drive, this 5 minute project renders in about 4 minutes and 53 seconds. All three of these numbers are fairly close together, so I think it's safe to say that drive speed doesn't make much difference when rendering video in Final Cut Pro. And for our last test, let's export this 5 minute 4K project as a master file. With a project on the Lacey drive, it takes about 7 minutes and 6 seconds to export. The same project on the Samsung T5 only takes about 4 minutes and 34 seconds to export. The internal drive is slightly faster, exporting this 5 minute project in 4 minutes and 33 seconds. The internal drive on my MacBook Pro and the Samsung T5 external solid state drives perform very similar in most tests, with the internal drive being slightly faster in most cases. As expected, the Lazy Disk drive was the slowest, being most noticeable in copying files and exporting video. As far as rendering and transcoding media, it was right alongside the solid state drives in speed. It even outperformed the Samsung T5 in importing media into Final Cut Pro. I wasn't really expecting that, so I repeated the same test a few times and got very similar results. As far as mining goes, an external solid state drive such as a Samsung T5 is your best bang for your buck. You can save money by buying a mechanical disk drive, but you will be giving up speed. And if mining is no object, upgrading and using an internal solid state drive is your fastest and most reliable option for Final Cut Pro. Let me know in the comments below where you store your Final Cut Pro library and the pros and cons of it. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. I'll see you next week.